to buy <laughs> F2.8 no wonder I'm supposed to be F let's do F14 today right let's do F14 today the poor little guy getting flashed by me yeah that's it let's get the focus in okay it's got the eye there it is. Oh my god, it's so sharp. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, this is uh, without the Raynox. Just testing out this little guy with the 30mm. And it's gone in. So it's not so good position. Let's try to get the eye. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Look at that. Hi, morning, everyone. So this uh, car boot uh, review again. <laughs> so I'm out here again. This time with the XH. Two and the 30 mm f2.8 macro lens what I'm gonna try out is because uh, someone commented in my previous video I didn't show them uh, with this then with the Raynox you know when you take out the Raynox from the clip it's 43 mm it just fits right in right look at that it just fits right in okay and on top of that uh, they said uh, you know I want to test this for Raynox, right? This is 2.5 times, and I have a diopter here, right? And uh, this diopter is 10 times, and this one is four times. So you need to put into a 43 mm step up ring to 52, and then you get this diopter. So this is four times, and I have a 10 times here. We're going to play around with this and see what the photos look like and I'll show you the size difference between the uh, Raynox the 4x and the 10 times. if I can get this to focus and the original so uh, I'll put the description down in the pictures so you can see the difference in terms of size so in terms of close focusing um, 1 to 1 is actually right up here once one cm right this is example here this is your one to one right so but the problem with putting the Raynox is <laughs> the subject is exactly in in the lens <laughs> it's like the your bug is really here right right in front so even with this it's already almost touching the lens so we're talking about from the lens though, not from the thread so with the Raynox it's a bit too near to the subject so it's very hard to it might not focus uh, well enough because I have to be away from the object because the focus space is here but the four times is probably a better fit okay so let's play around with this and we'll have a look uh, it's very early in the morning, it's about 7 a.m. so it's not enough lighting but macro photography no problem okay and a lot of you ask uh, which diffuser I use and flash okay I, this is the Godox TT350 simple very light flash two batteries it's more than enough right and this is the KV2 uh, designed and built by my friend uh, and he has been selling this online and but i i mod it because i i made it short it's much longer than this and this reflector is at the bottom but i asked him to clip it to the side for me so i have my reflector towards the front and here so i'm not sure if this reflector works with these guys because i'm going to be really really close up to the object so let's have a look at the photos and see okay i have mr fly here my chances of getting him to stay put is pretty low so but we'll try anyway it's 
we'll go as okay uh, I need to switch this to manual so that I can show you this uh, closest already that it can zoom in uh, focus okay let's, then let's go in and hopefully cross finger the fly doesn't fly away it's a joke right fly doesn't fly away right with the diffuser on I can't see anything so I'm going in very right near yep right up to his nose as one to one right don't fly away okay yeah <laughs> you see it's so near the fly just fly away <laughs> so practicality of putting this right up to the face of the fly is almost 99.9% .9 not possible right so you have to shoot it far away and people ask why am I shooting it so far away from the because I can't get near because this is very sh close focusing lens and that's it you have to live with it that's the fact okay that's Mr. Fly so let's switch it back to AFC and this time we shall not poke up to his nose right let's shoot there okay I'm gonna measure my my defector is gonna hit the flower and that's my distance okay so I'm gonna use this flower as my measurement but it's gone so that's very sharp look at that beautiful beautiful lens just that you can't get 100% near to your subject if it's flying away So there it is this is one to one right but the light is from the back so it's not gonna be a very nice photo let's try to get it from the front ah this is a bit hard yep let's try to get it here at least I get some lighting it's not moving that's a good part okay hopefully I got the water I love the water on the spikes of the okay there. that's the water right uh, that's how it looks like one to one let's get one more before I put in the Rhinox I hope it doesn't start moving yet I'm already touching the stem I can't imagine with the Rhinox because with the Rhinox, I'm already like too near. Okay, the focus is not so good. Let's do one more so I can get the face. So like you want to get the face and then you want to get the water at the same time. Okay, hopefully this time I got it. Yep. Okay, this one to one, okay. Okay, now I've got the Rhinox on, right, uh, so let's see if I can go near and how it touch the leaves, uh, let's try again, yep, I'm already touching the leaves and the caterpillar, right, I can't go near anymore, so I have to push it in, so with the Rhinox, you see, maximum it's already past the focus point so I need to bring it out a bit right let's see if it works if I bring it out slightly so that that defeats the magnification purpose uh, but let's try again yep there it is finally is there and Okay, there it is, right? So you can see the size difference. So you might as well just use it without the Rhinox. If, but if you're shooting from far, 
then not issue is good with the Renox so let's try the four times uh, diopter okay this is the four times diopter 52 mm and let's focus all the way in and see if we can get hold of this guy good boy he's been there not moving and I can't get near again because the diopter is hitting the stem right so I actually hit the diopter hit the caterpillar so same issue with the Renox uh, I need to zoom out slightly to get chance to go near Yep, a bit more focusing out right because it's too near the focusing point is gone beyond the lens so that's the bad thing so because this lens is already focusing right up to the glass so any more magnification means you need to focus further back right now it's okay now I can get some focus here Okay, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, okay. That's it. So, if you really want to get near, just use the XF30mm without any add-on. But if you're shooting from a bit further, the extra magnification will help because you're shooting from here, example. And then I'm not going to touch the, the, the caterpillar, but I'm going to zoom in from far and it does its job there look at that it's got the eye right see very nice look at that so you can be further away and get the magnification that you want let's try the 10 times just for fun okay this is the 10 times adapter and let's have some fun with this uh, now i'm using auto first just to see how close i can get Yeah, really close. Beautiful, look at that. 10 times diopter working on the 30 MMXF. 30. Wow, uh, this is something interesting for me. This is nice, so I don't have to go so near to the subject, but I still get a lot of magnification. Very, very nice okay okay there's a tiny spider here let's hope i can get enough likes to go in look at that he's there inside underneath the leaf so this 10 times giving me a uh, option yeah let's track onto the tail instead yeah it got the eye now okay so look at that spot on the eye okay this is AFC right bird tracking and a single point here right this single point so you got the spider eye I'm not even working hard for this so that's it 10 times diopter with the XF30 and look at that eye tracking is working it's even got the tail because the tail looks like eye ah oh, he's got a water on his head that is so cute look at that he's got the water on the head
So there you have it. Uh, I hope you like the pictures from this uh, uh, XH2 with the 30mm f2.8 macro lens with a 10 times diopter right in front. Okay. Uh, use a step up ring, add in the 43mm to 52 and a 52mm 10 times diopter and it gives you great magnification that you don't have to go too near to the subject so that you can uh, still get the picture of it before it flies off or runs off uh, this is a great setup now that I'm having this uh, option it, it expands my capability of this lens as well so this is a good good test and I'm happy with the results I hope you like the photos and uh, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for the next one I'll see you bye